What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We got another beautiful video for you today. We're out at Spyglass Hill. We're doing the intro on the back nine, so you're probably wondering why we're standing over here away from the tee boxes, but it was way too windy up there. So we're doing it now. You guys are gonna be in for a treat. Yeah, this is a really tough golf course. You know, our goal was to break 80 uh, to begin with. We're gonna try and do our best out here and make as many pars as we can, not too many big numbers, and uh, hopefully get out of here with uh, a decent, respectable golf score. Oof. All right, guys, uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, throw a thumbs up on this video for us, and leave a comment down below if you have any questions. All right, let's get to the action. All right, baby. All right, hole one out at Spyglass. Uh, it is about 555 yards. Uh, dog leg left, a little downhill with some trees, basically on both sides. Uh, it's gonna be a three shot hole. Yeah. A little super dude. Oh, great swing, dude. All right, B's got 250. He's gonna hit a five iron. Just try to get down there to the right number. All right, B's laying up with probably like a four or five iron. So it's going right. Have a bunch of deer down there just hanging out. It's a pretty, pretty special place. Marco's basically in the same spot, just uh, barely out of the rough. All right, we found Justin's ball. Really no play, he's got to punch out. Okay, it's back in the fairway. I'm just gonna go with a little five iron. Just get this thing back in the fairway. Have a little wedge left. Nice one there. Just letting it chase down there. That hit. Oh no! And up the right side. Still gonna have a long way home. All right, coach's got about 125 yards. A little bit of wind hurting right now. The wedge. Oh man, the rough just closed down the club face, and it's headed left left of the green. All right, B's got about 160 under the tree. He's gonna punch a seven. Ooh, he peered it. He's going a little left. That was B coming out. Wind is really hauling now. All right, Marco has a 105. It's kind of a crosswind. Going just right of the pin. All right, so we are not starting off great here. I think this is B just on the collar. Coach is down there. You guys saw him go left out of that rough. He's got a lot of green to work with, so hopefully we can just get this on and get it rolling. Going. All right, These greens are quick. All right, JC, I think is hitting four or five. I'm not sure. He's having a hole, but that's okay. He's on the green. Good chip right there. And he's got a little four footer for, for par. Oh, it's fast, hit it. Oh, he hit it. <laughs> Look at how fast that is. Hammered it. Ah. Good par. All right, good go. job. 
All right, so we're on hole number two. As you guys can see, we're kind of lower. Um, I think the other tee boxes are closed, so 330 yards from here. You just want to hit something about 230 up there, leave you about 120 into the screen. You guys will see the screen complex is insane. Small green, super exposed, and uh, it's all about position off this tee. Nice. Yeah, Jesse, I'm gonna. All right, Marco missed his a little to the right on the right rough. He's got 144 into the wind. He's going eight iron. That's just left of the stick i think it's gonna be good all right coach has got 112 over here just in the rough but he's got a pretty good angle some wind into the face probably playing about 120 125. it came out really clean i'm going right at it it's pushing to the left Heads up, guys. going to the right oh Beeski's down there. He had a great, great ball. He's probably got 90 yards or something like that. And let's see. Has he got enough? Oh, he left it in the bunker. It's going to be a tough one. Um, Coach and I, first of all, I mean, guys, <laughs> this is why you pay the full pop. Look at these views. Unbelievable. Afternoon rounds, you guys probably know, but it can get a little more windy out here but usually you can get, you know, some clearer skies also. So, just got a pretty straightforward shot. Very nicely done. Easy par. Oh, well done as well. All right, B hit a terrible wedge from where he was at, plugged in the bunker. He's just hacking it out. Yeah, very tough green. <laughs> Chip. All up middle. Okay, that was really good. All right, hole number three. What a beautiful par three this is. It's about 170 yards uh, from the back tees. You don't want to miss the green here. It's pretty much guaranteed bogey if you are. There's just uh, trash and uh, sand everywhere around the green, so got to hit a good one here. Beast. We're going to move it. Yeah, we got hang It's crazy. Oh, good swing, JC. Yeah, That'd Justin just put a great move on the ball. It's tough to tell. Tough to tell. Marco swooping this Whoa. thing around. Okay, we started it right and just pushing it. You're bouncing. <laughs> Good shot out of there. Yeah, people fix the pitch marks. Yeah, Mike. Nice hands. Good touch. Mackenzie inside. Mackenzie bounce, right? Yeah. Which I love Mackenzie. Yeah, oh, I love One of my favorite courses is my hands. Glass strikes again. All right, guys, hole number four here. This is an awesome hole. It's only 370 yards, so you only need to hit something out there. Two, 230, 240. It's straight downwind right now, too. 
Again, this one's gonna be all about the pro shot. You have probably one of the smallest greens in the world. You guys are gonna see this thing. It's it's a tiny, tiny target to aim for. He's got about 125 yards left. Really skinny green, hourglass green, so he's got to play it off to the right. And just hope, hopefully it feeds in. The wind is absolutely howling right now. Marco has about 130. He's going wedge. Loves this hole. Burned it last time. Oh, and hit another really good one. He's on the first cut. Great shot. Just is out. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Bees over here in the forest. Oh. There it is. Bouncing down the car path. Coach hit an amazing five wood, I think it was. He's got nothing left here. This is a, a shot from the hay course. It's gonna come in handy right here. What do you got? 57 yards, downwind. I got no chance to keep it on the green, but I'll do my best. This wind is just crazy right now. He's coming up. Let's see. Oh, he landed on the right tier, but just rolled out. This is gonna have to sit. Hit it. Oh, yeah. hit. Sit, sit, sit. Oh. This is brutal. This is brutal. All right, Coach just needs to basically just get this on the green. It's gonna roll because it's straight down the wind, and it's downhill. That needs to that needs to slow down a little bit. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. It's like impossible to keep it up there. And he's gonna join the OG crew at the bottom of the hill. I mean, this is that's great. This, Yeah, you have to. It might even start coming back. Okay. Jeez, he took an unorthodox line. That's right. Coach trying to cozy it up, but. Oh. Oh. oh, give it to him. Oh. <laughs> he, he just birdied it. <laughs> Love this hole. That's back to back birdies. All right, hole five, par three. It's playing about 200 yards from where we're at. Pin is tucked in the back left corner and the wind is howling about 35 to 40 miles an hour. And uh, the course is showing its teeth. He put a great move on this. Looks good, just left of the pin. It's fading. Bounced. Oh, man. Kind of swooping it, going towards the right part of the green. Okay, it's right in front of the bunker, easy up and down. JC trying to draw it into this wind, draw it a little bit, this looks pretty good. 
shot. Oh man, good swing there. Oh, what a shot. <laughs> Wait, way to cozy that five up there. A five? <laughs> Oh, so sticky. This looks pretty good. Oh, great effort right there. Hole six, par four, 446 yards, right to left wind, uh, trees up the left hand side, tough hole. Marco has 203 left up the hill. It's gonna go a little uh, hybrid right here. Caught it a tad heavy, but should be all right. Yeah, that's a really good shot. Get up and down for par. All right, coach is uh, just over here in the bunker. It's probably got like 150 yards or so. Playing a little bit uphill. Push that out to the right pretty hard. And bunker to bunker. All right, he's got 145 up the hill out in the rough. And pushed it right. God, dude. What are you doing? In the bunker. So Justin had a great drive up here up the left side. He's got 145 with the wind and uphill is playing about 160. He's got a nine iron. Started out on the right side. It's hanging a little bit. It's drawing over. Way short, about 20 yards. All right, Marco has about 65 yards. <laughs> Spyglass is winning this battle, and it's okay. Oh, this was crafty, okay. That's not bad. Six, eight yards right of the pin. Should feed down. Uh, bunker to bunker. Oh, great shot, Rico. Yeah, 100%. Guys, I'll get the traps. Nice shot. Nice, get out. Nice, good roll. 545 yard, par five. Playing uh, straight down wind, which is gonna be awesome. You guys can see it's just pretty open. There's a creek down there. And uh, if you hit a good drive here, you might be able to get home in two. Wind is right behind us right now. So, let's see what we can do. Oh. <laughs> God, I hope we got that in camera. Yeah. Nice ball. Good shot, dude. Nice ball, Marco. Leave that two there. Cool. All right, Marco found the fairway here. He's gonna lay up. He's got about 270. He's gonna go eight iron right here. And that is off the tree right there. Oh my gosh. Marco's in the trees. This is probably gonna go eight iron because he didn't grab anything else and laid up perfectly. 
Okay. <laughs> All right, B's got 214. Let's pull the four iron. Oh, it's right at it. Maybe a little fat. All right, sure to the green. Justin absolutely piped a drive down here. He's got 205 left. He's playing downwind, so he's gonna hit a seven iron. Try to catch a front edge. Started out to the right. It's drawn over, it's riding the wind. Come on, catch the right side. It does, and it's feeding all the way to the hole. Oh, just blew right by it. Heck of a good shot. Coach with a nice little chip out. Oh God. Oh, it rolled off the hill. All right, Marco has about 45 yards. Downwind, landed perfectly, rolled out, and <laughs> it's off the green. Oh man. Good shot there. He's keep coming in a little hot. Right after that disaster of a hole, this is for a five and a par. Give it to him. All right. All right, guys, not sure how long this hole is. Probably about 400 yards. Turning up and left and up the hill. You want to hit something about 270 up there, he said. And we'll see what we got in from there. It's pretty tough green. All right, Marco caught the tree off the tee. He's got a decent lie. He's going five iron right now. And that is, I think it's gonna be perfect. Justin hit driving iron off the tee. He's got at least 225 playing in. He's swooping it around. Tough to tell up here. Coach is up here on the left side of the fairway. He's got only 150 left, but with the wind and slope, it's probably playing like 180. Nip the tree, I lost it. Uh, I think it just kicked out right. All right, B's got 129, but it's really probably playing about 155. He's got eight iron. Uh, this looks pretty good. Yeah, he's on and maybe just a tad long, but good shot. Going right. Just got about 40 yards. Oh, I just sucked it back. Okay, leave it. Uh. Go, 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 go. Okay, at least it stopped. All right, Marco's hitting his fourth out of the bunker. Down. Oh, it landed on just a tad long. <laughs> Good weight on it, though. Ugh. 
That about sums up the day. <laughs> nice Pete. Nice par! Woo! Two nice par! Two in a row! <laughs> <laughs> Number nine, 431 yards, but straight into the wind. As you can see, pretty wide open fairway. I think there's some bunkers up there on the right, but this wind's about 30, 35 miles an hour right now. So these balls are not gonna go anywhere. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a long second shot for everyone. Nice ball. There you go. Good, good swing. All right, Marco has probably about 265. Going five wood, swooping. It's going to be right by the cart path. All right, coach has got 187 going with the five wood. Straight into the wind. <laughs> he lost his footing. Don't go in the Oh, it's in the uh, <laughs> that is gonna be. <laughs> All right, Marco's got 104 left. He's going pitching wedge. Oh, he hit a good one. Let's see if it's enough. Oh, it is. Okay, good shot. Really well done. This guy driving iron. A rescue. It's going a little right. The wind's got it. In that bunker, right bunk right lower bunker. <laughs> Having some pretty deep discussions with our caddy here these last few holes. Yardages have been all over the place. Adding about 25 to 30 yards if we're into the wind. About 35 yards taken off if we're downwind. Justin's got 177 with a five iron. And now it's going up. It's leaking to the right. Wind's got it. Oh, B, nice touch. Come on down. Coach has got probably one of the hardest bunker shots you can have. 30 yards, I'll carry. Oh, you had a good one. Good shot, coach. That's about all you can do, man. Look at the turkey <laughs> right next to JC. The it's gonna, it's gonna nip, it's gonna nip him. It's all his little eagle drop. <laughs> Pressure on the shot. Ooh, this looks pretty good. Nice shot. Come on down, baby. Settle. Jeez. <laughs> Which one's me? You might be old. Oh. Just ran in. Oh, that was a good line. Well, I mean, it's uh, pretty brutal conditions right now. 25 mile an hour with gusts up to 35, so it's 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 a bear, and the course is already hard without those conditions. So, you know, it's fun, but uh, you obviously, if, if you're off just a little bit, you will get punished badly out here. Yeah. All right, guys, we just finished uh, the first nine holes out here at Spyglass, and let me tell you, it was uh, it was pretty tough out there. We had a couple pars here and there, but not. Not too many to speak of. This guy of. made a uh, great birdie on hole number three. A couple hosels out there, two for me. Uh, it was a great time, had a lot of fun. Got the beat down, course won this one. This, this course, like, it gets in your head because when you start feeling the wind, you start realizing your ball's going nowhere, it really starts to mess with you mentally and you have to, you just have to keep grinding. And we'll see you later.